It's a powerful combination. Marinette Marine Corporation, a worldwide leader in ship design and construction, and the Boeing Company, a pioneer in advanced rotorcraft technology and systems integration. These two distinguished firms have teamed to capture the U.S. Navy's ship-to-shore connector. The goal? To replace the current landing craft air cushion, LCAC, with a lower cost, higher availability, next generation platform. So what exactly is the ship to shore connector and what makes Marinette and Boeing uniquely qualified to meet the stringent requirements of the SSC, a battlefield support system so vital to our nation's defense? The answer may be found in the nature of the machine itself. The SSC is essentially a low-flying rotorcraft designed to carry heavy loads. This mission plays right into Boeing's strength for innovative heavy lift rotorcraft. And it's a perfect fit for Marinette Marine, whose shipbuilding portfolio includes the U.S. Navy's littoral combat ship, the improved Navy lighterage system, mine countermeasure vessels and ocean tugs, as well as U.S. Coast Guard icebreakers, buoy tenders, and response vessels. Marinette's Richard McCreary explains. We worked on the teaming with Boeing for the better part of three years. Looking at the ship to shore connector program, we knew that we needed a teammate with very strong rotorcraft experience. And Boeing was actually looking for a teammate to prime this as the shipyard because they understood it was a NAVC program. And so we think that we combine the real strong elements of both companies, Boeing's expertise in high-tech rotorcraft, our expertise in shipbuilding and aluminum ship construction to make a craft that will be sustainable for the Navy, much more reliable, and very robust. Marinette Marine Corporation was founded along the Menominee River in Marinette, Wisconsin in 1942 in order to meet America's growing demand for naval construction. From humble beginnings with a contract to build five wooden barges, MMC has grown into a world-class shipbuilder, having designed and built more than 1,300 ships and some of the most technologically advanced vessels on the planet. Marinette Marine's performance on government contracts is impressive. Because of its record of delivering ahead of schedule and within contracted costs, MMC has a long-standing relationship with the United States Navy. The SSC will be built at Marinette affiliate Ace Marine, builder of the United States Coast Guard's response boat medium. Like the RBM, efficiencies in SSC production will be achieved by constructing the craft in a climate-controlled environment in a systematic series of panels, modules, and blocks. This technique allows the modules to be pre-outfitted to a very high degree, while internal compartments are still very accessible. With the RBM, Ace Marine has taken component manufacturing to a new level of efficiency and on-time delivery. Ace production manager Tom Buskey and MMC vice president Dwayne Ream explain. Uh, one of the advantages of component construction is allow you to do pre-outfitting. Uh, what I mean by that is being able to put as many of the components as possible into that particular module prior to going to an assembly. Uh, it saves a lot of time with people having to climb up inside of a boat, hauling material up inside of the boat, and then taking out rubbish and whatnot with it. Uh, so being able to pre-outfit is huge. At Marinette, we utilize modular construction, and we think we take it to a larger degree than most other shipyards. Uh, we attempt to get uh, all of the uh, product that can be put into a module or in the module at that particular time. Uh, that includes insulation, lights, electrical components, cable, piping, HVAC. Uh, in doing that, uh, we control the manpower and uh, we improve efficiencies through the construction process. Importantly, Marinette Marine and Ace Marine are part of the Fincantieri Marine Group, a subsidiary of Fincantieri. One of Europe's largest shipbuilders, it has a history dating back 200 years and a track record of producing more than 7,000 ships. We were very pleased when Fincantieri expressed interest in buying the Marine Group for a couple of reasons. Previously, we were owned by the Manitowoc Corporation, which was 95% devoted to cranes and the food service business. And so we were really something of an afterthought. 
Fincantieri, being a world leader in shipbuilding, is entirely devoted to shipbuilding. And being part of their company now gives us access to their tremendous engineering and design resources, as well as good ideas with regard to productivity and product enhancements. The Boeing Rotocraft facility in Mesa, Arizona, is one of the world's leading producers of military rotocraft systems. It offers the AH-64D Apache Longbow multi-mission combat helicopter to the U.S. Army and allies around the globe. The rotocraft site, which opened its doors in 1982, is also a major supplier of sub-assemblies for other commercial and military Boeing aircraft products and is developing high-technology innovations for future rotocraft applications such as the SSC. Take the propulsor, take the command station, take the engine integration, and bringing all of those systems together to really attack what the customer needs, and that is improve reliability, maintainability, and availability. But the other hand, that's in the development portion, taking it and extending it farther, the SSC also really is after lowest total ownership costs. And it, and it does so using the systems engineering V model, which, which starts with requirements, breaks down those requirements to their lowest level, allocates those requirements to subsystems, and by doing that, you end up uh, building in an affordability of the product to your end customer. You have a total understanding of what their requirements were before going in. We then design to their requirements going out, and we avoid the issues of cost growth and scope growth that, that drive uh, affordability out of programs. The Arizona facility has nearly 4,500 highly skilled employees. The company is headquartered in a 2 million square foot complex 20 miles east of Phoenix. Here, Boeing operates one of the world's most advanced flight simulation facilities. It enables company designers and engineers to evaluate new avionics, crew station designs, or mission software long before they're ever flown in an operational environment. Additionally, uh, what we bring to the party, since we are rotorcraft, are what's at the heart of a helicopter, a drive system, uh, transmissions. Uh, the other business end of a rotor uh, uh, helicopter is a rotor blade. Uh, we have a rich history of designing and developing new high-tech rotors, which would be uh, an exceptionally good match for building a, a hover-type uh, aircraft or hovercraft uh, for water. We take the technology we know in rotors, and the technology we have and have displayed in this new face gear technology for the Block 3 aircraft, drive that and in, in back into uh, merging with MMC's capabilities and their rich history building quality boats, and I think it's a perfect marriage. The design specifications on the SSC are exacting. It must operate day and night in a variety of sea states and in a variety of environments. The MMC Boeing SSC reduces crew workload and improves situational awareness through technological advances in navigation and communication. Its pilot co-pilot command deck eliminates the LCAC's need for a craftmaster, navigator, and engineer. It's a complex machine, one that not only must withstand the hostile assaults of nature, water, salt, sand, extreme temperatures, but it must also meet the battlefield demands on its hull, engines, drivetrain, and avionics. And so that's why MMC and Boeing have also teamed with Oceaneering International, which holds the U.S. Navy's Service Life Extension Program contract, or SLEP, for the LCAC. Here in its Chesapeake, Virginia facility, Oceaneering has real-world experience in the factors that enhance craft capability and increase mission readiness and in the conditions that contribute to landing craft wear and tear. Oceaneering's Philip Miller tells us how. As we work on the craft, we, we see the problems that exist with the current design. We see the, the corrosion where it happens. We see the the component failures, we see the limitations with the age of the craft of getting the, the componentry that is needed. It's, it's very unique. Uh, we see lots of opportunities for uh, equipment locations that will make the next craft, the SSC, easier to maintain, cheaper to maintain, uh, and just be a better craft than the LCAC ever was. 
Rounding out the SSC team is Griffin Hoverwork, a pioneer in the development of hovercraft technology since the dawn of the industry more than 40 years ago. No other company worldwide has more hovercraft experience than Griffin Hoverwork. They've become one of the most respected names in the industry through high standards of design and engineering and through the careful consideration of all aspects of hovercraft performance and safety. Commercial craft produced by Griffin Hoverwork include those designed for use as passenger ferries, survey craft, civil engineering support, mobile medical clinics, as well as search and rescue operations. Military uses include Coast Guard patrol, amphibious assault, fast attack, mine countermeasures, medical evacuation, policing, and customs. The company has placed more than 150 hovercraft in operation in over 40 countries around the world. Marinette's Vice Admiral Terry Etnire is the former commander of all surface vessels in the United States Navy. He knows something about naval warfare and about the capabilities of the MMC Boeing Ship to Shore Connector. A Ship to Shore Connector is designed to be the replacement for the current uh, 72 LCAC uh, population in the Navy fleet. It's designed to go on board amphibious ships and be deployed around the world. It, uh, primary mission in wartime is to transport Marines ashore uh, and their equipment uh, so that the Navy is a entry force. Uh, also, it comes in very handy in humanitarian missions. For example, the Haiti uh, disaster uh, with the earthquake, uh, LCACs were down there. They go across the beach, uh, up on the land, and can deliver 75 tons worth of supplies uh, in, in one fell swoop. Well, I think Obviously, Marinette Marine's uh, history in building Navy ships since 1942 is, gives you a very long track record of build high quality ships. Uh, in particular, we are building the RBM, which is behind me, uh, for the U.S. Coast Guard, an all aluminum ship in our aluminum facility in Green Bay. Uh, very pleased, the Coast Guard is very pleased with the product that they're getting. We would take that same kind of technology and quality and put it into the SSC. On the Boeing side, they've been doing rotorcraft technology for longer, as, as long as the helicopters have been around. And really, if you look at the SSC, it's, a, it's kind of a helicopter flying upside down. And uh, we are very confident that their understanding of the powertrain and the drivetrain for that kind of technology will bring uh, better um, maintainability and reliability uh, into it. And so we've crafted a very strong team with a long history in both shipbuilding and in uh, rotorcraft technology. So there you have it. MMC Boeing is a cost-effective SSC solution, providing affordability, availability, and maintainability, as well as total life cycle global support. The credentials of the two firms are impeccable with vessel construction, marine engineering, naval architecture, LCAC maintenance, and rotorcraft power systems expertise that is recognized worldwide. They bring to the table a hand-picked project team focused on rapid design, build, and delivery. And importantly, the firms have the demonstrated ability to successfully manage and deliver on large government contracts. Marinette Marine Corporation and the Boeing Company have something else in common, a shared commitment in defense of freedom.